Hi everyone, thank you for joining me for another style video today. Um, I just actually went and got a new tattoo today, which is currently wrapped up, but I didn't want it to, to stop me from filming, so I'm going to keep it wrapped up while I whiz through this. But it just got me thinking, I'm going to leave a little poll. I've now got seven tattoos. Is anybody interested in a, you know, my tattoos video? So about my tattoos and the reasons behind them, because I know I've seen people do them on YouTube before. And I didn't know if any of you would be interested, so I'll leave a poll on screen to go and vote if you want me to go and film that. But today I have five dresses, so it's going to be like five ways to wear, but this time five ways to wear a dress this autumn. But I've been on ASOS and I've picked out five different dresses, so they can all be worn for different tastes, different occasions, and I thought I'd mix it up. So there's going to be five different dress outfits for autumn, and it's freakishly warm today when I'm filming about 20 odd degrees, so it's a little bit hot in here. I do have a fan on, um, hopefully I'll be able to block the sound out of that, and I actually have a microphone, so let me know if you think the sound quality is also improved as well of late. But let's get into my styling video. I'm going to do the usual, including a cutaway of me in the product, and I'm going to talk you through all the bits as well, so I'm just going to move back a little bit to the right. <laughs> Starting with a very autumnal dress indeed, I have this beautiful knitted piece, which is an ASOS's own piece. I will leave everything linked in the description box and also I will leave prices uh, for the dresses and also my sizings as well and the sizes I got. So this is a UK size 8 and I love knitwear for autumn. I mean, who doesn't? It's pretty much obvious. So for this you could wear it casual or you could dress it up for nights with a pair of heels, but the way that I'm going to be pairing this is of course with a leather jacket. I love a little bit of knitwear and a leather jacket together. The leather jacket I have is my Topshop jacket, which I believe they no longer sell, but I will leave similar ones a link below. Definitely can recommend the All Saints Balfern leather jacket. And from my recent Topshop haul, I will leave that linked, is the beautiful leather boots. Real leather, real handy heel for walking around in, so take them from day wear to evening. Like, again, you could wear this look in the day or you could wear it for going out at night. It's it's such a cool, casual, but also chic look and can definitely recommend these booties. You're going to see a lot of leather in this haul, or pleather, so I have a pleather dress from Unique 21 and this just looks like a dress by the designer Ganny, which I'll leave on the screen, which is a lot more expensive. And it's in this beautiful tan leather, we have oversized kind of back wing sleeves, I'm getting like 60s, 70s vibes from this. Again, I got a UK size eight. I love the tone. It's like the perfect beige for autumn. And because it's kind of got that 60s, 70s vibe, I thought I would pair mine with a pair of over the knee boots. My over the knee boots are last year's from Duo Boots, but I know they always do really good over the knee style boots, even if they change slightly every year. And you can measure your leg, so you can measure the width of your calf and the width of your foot to make sure that your shoes fit you perfectly. So I absolutely adore these in suede. They also have a hardwood heel, so I hate suede heels, they absolutely get ruined. And I love this look just on its own, but obviously if you were going to wear this around in the day and you maybe want it to look a little less, um, I don't know, I was going to say the word suspicious, but it's not suspicious wearing a skirt and boots, is it? But we all know what builders are like and people giving wolf whistles. If God forbid they see a woman in a skirt and a pair of over the knee boots. So if you kind of wanted to cover yourself up on route to getting somewhere, then I would do this by pairing over a trench coat, again, in a lovely neutral colour. Mine here is our Tommy Hilfiger jacket. I know a little bit on the expensive side, so I will leave some alternatives linked below, but I do believe that a trench coat is a real staple in your wardrobe so if you can invest in one I would definitely recommend it because it will last you a lot of years and maybe yeah we will do a trench coat style video because I absolutely love them and they're tree chic. Now autumn dress number three I love at the moment that there's loads of either satin style dresses or silk style dresses that are in a midi maxi length and they're long sleeve as well but all of them have some beautiful detailing about them and I came across this gorgeous colour which isn't normally something I'd be drawn to but it's very autumnal and I'm loving like beiges and neutrals at the moment so this is probably a colour that I could get on board with as well I love the linen detail stripe down the sides of the sleeves also we've got like 
a little bit of high-end detailing I would call that there and it's a lovely full shape but it looks, I haven't tried it on yet, but it looks like it'd be really flattering with all the ruched detailing. Now this is an ASOS own dress again, I've got a size 8 which I pretty much think I did in all the dresses and this is more of a dressy dress but you could wear it for the day. This would also be perfect for wearing to the office but I thought for pairing this dress up that to maybe dress it down a little bit I thought I would pair it with some snakeskin boots. Mine are from Amazon Find from last year but I'm pretty sure again they're still in stock or if not I will link similar ones but a pair of snakeskin boots I think. I know animal prints a bit of a trend sometimes but it's very classic as well. These I'm sure I'll be getting out every autumn just make sure you invest in the right colour and these are quite a muted beige which means they go over a lot of things especially that trench coat as well but I thought it picked up like the light linen in the sleeves of this dress perfectly and maybe dressed it down a little bit. Obviously for evening and events I would just put on a pair of simple strappy heels but for day wear I thought I would pop on a pair of snakeskin booties or you could also do this for the office and then at the moment I'm absolutely loving leather. I have ordered but it's not come yet so I've been doing some eBay shopping a um, like neutral leather jacket. This is yet to arrive and I really wanted to film this video so instead I'm just going to show you what it looks like with a black jacket so we can all imagine the dress with the same outfit but this being a neutral beige and again this is a second hand leather jacket I got this one from ASOS Marketplace now a new leather jacket is going to cost you £300 up to £1000 or more if you're going designer but get yourself on Depop, get yourself on eBay, get yourself on ASOS Marketplace, maybe even Etsy, do a little bit of shopping around for pre-loved items, go to a local vintage store and you'll grab one up for a steal. I think this one was £60 and I have also ordered another one for about £30 off eBay. Real leather and definitely, definitely worth trying to get secondhand first before splashing out loads of money. Now moving on to dress number four. Because of my Doc Martens, I will leave my Dr. Martin styling video linked in case you guys didn't see it. I love Dr. Martens worn with tea dresses, so I wanted to add a new tea dress. And this, to be honest, was the only tea dress on the ASOS website that I was kind of into. It's from Glamorous, again I've got a UK 8, and it's yellow green, floral print, um, in kind of that, um, it's not tall, but see-through material, so we have lining through it, so I'm assuming this is all polyester, so it might be a bit sweaty, but I just thought this with a pair of Dr. Martins, absolutely hitting the nail on the trend, no, hitting the nail on the head either, for the look that I want to go for, like a 90s grunge. So to layer up when it gets a little bit colder, I would suggest going for a cropped style jumper here. From last year, I have a Motel Rocks jumper. I will try and leave something similar linked. It's just a black roll neck, the law style knit, but it's cropped. So I just think they look so cute together. And I'm definitely getting Drew Barrymore from a 90s film vibe from this look. And it's just something that's so comfortable, so cozy, and can definitely be worn all day. Now going on to something a little bit more chic, again, depends what your wardrobe preference is, I mean it depends how casually you dress or it depends how kind of chic that you dress all the time. This would be a perfect event dress, I love having a black dress because literally you can just change your accessories and keep it in your wardrobe for a long time if it fits you very nicely. So this is an ASOS own and because I adore my Zara silk slip so much and they're literally my go-tos when I'm going to an event or going out, I thought I would try a different style. So this is a high neck so it's a bit more autumn winter appropriate but we have this gorgeous open back detailing at the back of it it's a maxi length I'm pretty sure with a slight asymmetric hem uh, you could dress it down in the day by putting a polo neck underneath it um, putting like a jumper over it and styling it with trainers which is something that I love to do with um, silk dresses but I thought I would show you more of a dressed up way of wearing this. So for the heels I've gone back again for the Topshop boots because they can be worn from day to night. I love a pointed toe leather boot, they are so versatile and to finish it off I am so obsessed as well with buying men's blazers so as well as some vintage men's blazers I've also been shopping on the likes of Mango Outlet and places like that and I picked up this men's blazer I get mine in a 40 or a 42 I'm 5 foot 8 and like an 810 but quite like a wide frame and absolutely love the oversized looks getting like Sarah Jessica Parker in Sex and the City vibes when she wore Big's blazer over a silk slip dress and I just love it, I think it's really chic so I need James to take me out to a nice fancy restaurant so I can wear this look and 
my blazer's grey but obviously you can have any colour that you wish and again if you wanted to you could swap it out for some strappy shoes again massively recommend the 90s strappy sandal uh, which is called the strippy heel from Topshop so I'll leave those linked down below as well so that has been my kind of five ways to style a dress for autumn but also kind of like an ASOS dress haul as well. Hopefully I've covered a few different styles so that you've been able to find something that you love and dresses that can cover a few different occasions. So feedback is always very welcome and any suggestions you want. I've had quite a few over on my Instagram at Charlotte Buttrick if you don't follow me. So coming up we've got oversized blazers, leather blazers, leather joggers, um, lots lots of things in the pipeline to come back with more styling videos for you guys so do make sure that you click the subscribe button and notifications are turned on because i'd love to have you back with me for ne my next video even desperately need a drink so thank you for watching guys and i will hopefully see you very soon <laughs>